talk about the, um, the beginning of every match. Being at the tournament, uh, you, you see the weakness that, that almost every jiu-jitsu guy has and the advantage that every wrestler has. And even in, when we're doing it here, I think we're, we're losing sight. What, what's happening with, with jiu-jitsu is the match starts, right? You shake hands, whatever, hey, you know, and you're all nervous, oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. forget about that. You walk in your guy down, and we're looking for inside control. Put your hands up. This seat is here, guys, that's pro wrestling. That's not what we do in jiu-jitsu. That's not what we do in wrestling. Now, you can grab a, um, a, a wrist, an arm, a Russian, that's okay. But this thing here, grabbing hands, it's just a wasting of time. What we have to do, if you guys would come to this side here, sorry, I can show you this, just put your arms like this. Guys, this is what's called inside control. I have to maintain, if I wanna out grapple, out wrestle my opponent, I have to get inside control. And in wrestling, if you ever watch wrestling, you have two positions with your head. It's either ear to ear or forehead to forehead. You don't want ear to ear. Ear to ear, it's neutral. Now what you do want is forehead to ear, neutral, neutral, I have the advantage. I have the advantage, you guys see that? All these little details, we're gonna go over again. I wanna get inside control, collar tie. This hand is not on the outside, it's on the inside. Now it's weird because your hand's gonna be shaped like this and you're gonna have to get used to that. The other thing you're gonna have to get used to is not being a pansy with your hands. When I'm, when I'm going with a guy, this is where I'm at, guys. This is where we're at. <laughs> Do it to me. Miserable, fatiguing, tiring, exhausting. You can't be here. <laughs> and I watch these guys do it. I'm, I'm watching yesterday, one of our guys, not one of our, our yeah, one of my friends, he's in the match, and the guy's afraid of him, and he's afraid of the guy, and these guys are playing like this. And I'm like, bro, slap him down. Grab his neck, what are you doing? They're resting. They're breathing. There's not, he snapped me twice. It's miserable. This is how the match starts. You know what rule number one is, Landon? Backing up, you can't take nobody down. If he's coming at me and I'm going like this, who's winning this match, guys? He is. He is. He is. I have to stop, change level, shoot my... I can't, it's not going to happen before he's rolled on top of me. So what we're going to do is I just want to work... No, no resistance yet. I'll go first. You go. I go. Other side. Look how my base is, guys. He goes. Other side. You see it? Both you guys maintain base. One, two, three. When we do, we're going to do competition rolls in 20, 25 minutes. And I'm sure the thing that's going to happen is I'm going to say, go! And you're going to go like this. And I'm telling you, head up. Walk. Yes! Walk the guy down. Walk him. Man, it's miserable, bro. If I haven't told you, wrestling is the number one taxi sport in the world. Wrestlers are superhuman beings. If you've ever scrapped with a collegiate wrestler, it's nothing you've experienced before. They are the strongest, most physically impressive human beings in the world. And now you go up to that level of Olympia, just nothing can prepare you to like, I, I, there's no way you're gonna. And this is why, this is what they do four, five, six hours a day, every day, nonstop. And if they survive, if their body doesn't break down, they wind up at the highest levels of sports. After wrestling, everything's easy. After wrestling is judo. After judo, jujitsu. From, from, from an anaerobic perspective, nothing is even close to those guys. Even football training, rugby training, totally different. Totally different fast twitch exercise.
This is a slow twitch. We want to walk our guy down. We don't want our head broken down, right? We don't want to come to him like this. What's going to happen if we come over like this? There it goes, and I'm on the mat. We want to walk our head up, our arms in, T-Rex arms, right? And we walk him down, head to head, and now we fight for inside control. He's going to fight for it. I'm going to fight for it by putting my head up. We're going to be threading this thing here. And at some point in time, one of us might get smart, grab the arm, boom, and hit that double. And down he goes. But that's a whole different level. That's a whole layer that we're not working. Right now, we're working this. So what I want you to do now, put your arms down. Watch what I'm doing here in my hand, guys. This is called the claw. As you snap him down, take your hand off a little bit. And then one other thing I want you to add. Ready? A little higher. You see what I'm doing? New leverage, new power, new position. When you first pull here, pull the back of my head, I'm gonna hold it tight, and I think it's the same leverage, then all of a sudden he changes it, and down you go. Ow. No, you're good, you got it. I was gonna interject because good. the whole time um, Ryan was showing you guys is right here. The, this is good to start with, but your power is right here. That's right. When you get right here, you stick your elbow right in their chest, you're not using any strength. That's them, them versus them. Because when they try to lift up their head, they're pushing your elbow into their chest. So from right here, when I get right here now and I put my head into the side of his, right. his head right here, he's in a miserable spot. If I snap him down, he, he can't fight me. Nope. He can't fight me. I, he's gonna go wherever I want him to go. If I go here, come back again, right? From right here, when I put my head here, stop one second. You see where his head is, guys? We're not ear to ear. We're forehead to neck, or forehead to ear, as they call it. Yeah, so when I'm here, I'm going to put him where this foot is. So I'm going to move this foot, and there. That's where I want him. I'm now on top of him. <laughs> OK? There's a reason why I have minimal cauliflower here. I never ear to ear. I never side. My forehead leads everything I do. If I'm taking a shot, it's like this. I never, my head is never here. My head is never there. My head is either here here or here. I've never side to side with anything. So this is why I don't have cauliflower that because I don't get that rough, okay? I don't get that rough. I lead with my forehead everything I do. He can be better than me all he wants. If I'm here in his face, he can't see my legs to do anything, okay? He can't see my legs to do one thing. He can't touch my legs, he can't wrestle me. And then from right here, I get the top of his head, it's over. Okay, I'm looking at his legs. I know where I want to go. So even if he snaps me down from right here, I can go snap into the double. Okay, because... Don't snap down when you don't have inside control, guys. Yeah. Okay, because I can see his legs. Was right here? I can see his legs. He can't see mine. He's looking that way. He's looking where I want him to look. If I snap him down from here, what's gonna happen, guys? Oh. Whoop, and down I go. All right? Okay. okay, let's try it again. Increase your uh, energy level 50%. 1, 2, 3. 